I get quite a lot of questions on how I create those 2D faces on my 3D characters. So I decided to make a video and explain that to, to you. It's not that difficult, so it's going to be quite quick. Uh, I create all of my characters' heads from the simple UV sphere. Actually, that's quite a default UV sphere in, in Blender with 32 segments and 16 rings. I will show you this move and let's add a material create a new material and choose some kind of the skin color something like that i'll press numpad one to go into the front mode and i will go into the edit mode i will select faces where my character's eyes should be so i will select something like that and i will jump into the circles will select and i will select those two and those and i think that's enough make sure that those would be symmetrical in both sides and that looks pretty good for the area where i should be so i'll press uh, shift d to duplicate it so now i have a duplicate i will cancel the action with the right mouse button and uh, i'll press p and separate selection so now i have another object which is this now let's do the mouth let's uh, select the sphere and go into the end mode and select the area where the mouth should be i will select something like that i think <coughs> jesus I'll, i'm losing my voice something like that should be enough or maybe we can make it even bigger i noticed that I had some sounds like oh i need a bigger mouth this should be good so let's do the same. Shift D, right mouse button, P, separate selection. And now we have three uh, objects. We can uh, name it eyes. This is going to be mouth. And this sphere is the head. We can open another window in, in Blender and uh, go to Shader Editor. And now we have here this skin material. I can rename it skin and uh, you can see all of those objects have the same skin material so i can create a new material or i can press this button and this is going to be eyes uh, and they have the node wrangler add-on enabled if you don't you can go to edit preferences add-ons search for node and enable it now you can select this principal bsdf press ctrl t and it will open an image texture click open and go to the folder where your eyes textures are so here are my faces or eyes those are two images and if you downloaded my images i will leave uh, the link where you can download those they are prepared in in a correct way but if you create your images make sure that you have the correct naming just like a sequence for example if you name something open eyes closed eyes uh, happy eyes that won't work uh, i have only two eyes open and closed make sure that you will have the name for example face eyes or something like that and then numbers like a sequence phase one phase two phase three phase four etc then it will work if you don't that won't work because we need an image sequence i will select both of those and press open image here you can see i already have an image sequence if you don't make sure to change that from single image prob probably to image sequence and we need only one frame and we need auto refresh now it looks kind of ugly because it's not transparent the color is connected to the color in principle bsdf that's perfectly fine that's what we need but we need to connect alpha to alpha also and now this image be will become transparent it's not transparent in eview right now we'll fix that but uh, it is mapped in a very wrong way so we can go to uv editing we can select all of those and here we can open the phase one and you can see how it's mapped i would like to open a phase two it will be clearer so i will select those uh, i'll press g and move it to here and i will scale it up if we go to layout we have some kind of a problem 
but if I change the offset, it fixes. I see that eyes are not in the right place, but let's fix that black area, which we don't need. And that's just the settings of the EV. For example, we need to change the blend mode to alpha blend or alpha hashed. Alpha blend works, so that's perfectly fine. And now we have eyes and we can see how it looks. I think those are too big. So we can go back to UV editing and we can scale our UV map to the bigger and those are smaller now. I can change those eyes by changing the offset. Make sure that you have the frames at one, start frame at one or zero, it can be zero. Uh, and offset changes the eyes for example zero is open eyes and uh, the one is closed eyes and that's how we can animate those so for example if i insert a keyframe uh, on offset i can press i and a couple frames in i can insert this keyframe and i can insert the open keyframe again and now we have a blink animation. Maybe 30. I'll change that. So we could have a loop. So that's easy with eyes. It's a little bit more tricky with uh, mouth because we have more textures. So let's do the same. Let's create a new material. We can rename it mouth and press Ctrl T. To open an image texture, press open. Here is my folder. If I press A, I can select all and I will press open image. And now I can do the same. I can change the blend mode to alpha hashed and it's still really dark. I will change the frames to one, start frame to one. Oh, it's dark because alpha is not connected. And I can change the offset and nothing happens. I uh, make sure you clicked auto re refresh and now it is changing, but we still have this black thing, alpha blend. I always mix those. So let's go to UV editing again. Let's select all of those and let's select all of those by pressing A, G to move it to somewhere here, S to scale, G to somewhere here. Let's go back to layout and let's try those. Those are huge. So let's get back to UV editing and scale them even more. Maybe we need our mouth a little bit higher so we can move it like that. And I think we need to scale it even more. So it looks like that. Like with the eyes, we can animate by changing the offset. For example, if we need to animate our mouth, usually we need some kind of audio track. So I'm going to show you one trick. Uh, let's open one more window and go to, 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 to video sequencer, I guess. So you can just drag and drop your audio file in here and uh, expand this and display waveform. And now if I press N and if I will make this bigger, I can see my audio in here and I probably will need more frames, something like 200. And now I can synchronize my mouth to, to, to the audio. One more thing which I like to do, I would like to go into the playback in the timeline and change this from playing every frame to frame dropping. I'll press this scrubbing button and now if I scrub through completely used. I don't have single modeness. I can hear what's happening in my audio track. So that helps a lot. So now we can animate things. For example, <laughs> here should be the closed mouth. I can press I and I should see the keyframe in here, but I don't. And that's because oh the mouth wasn't selected, so the keyframe here, <laughs> and I have some kind of a sound here. I can add a different mouth. I can press I on offset. And here I will need 
even different sound and that's great we added those keyframes but if i slide to the side i will disable this as scrubbing option right now because it distracts you i think uh, if I go from one keyframe to another, it adds the mouth options, those offset between the keyframes, which is not really cool. I don't want to do that. I want mouth to jump to one keyframe to another at the moment when I add those keyframes. So I can select those keyframes, press right mouse button. I can set interpolation mode to constant. And now it only changes when the new keyframe is on the timeline. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, for example, if I change it to something like that, I can insert the keyframe with I and it is only changing on, on those parts. So that's basically it about this technique. I will give you a reference file uh, where it is. This one, you can use it, but uh, don't go blindly on it.